I think in London I can pretty much walk around anywhere. Every street, every bus, every walk home in the rain will be the thing that in a few years' time colours the sound of your music. I sit at home and make music and it still hasn't changed for me. I, I make it for myself. The, the way it disperses throughout the internet or whatever, it seems like that is, is like a secondary thing. I quite like to just, just shut everything out until I'm actually playing. I like to have the sensory overload of suddenly seeing lots of people in front of me and, and having to come up with the goods. This is Plastic People, where Digital Mystics and some of the original sort of dubstep producers used to play. And I would probably stand roughly over there in the back. It was much more of a melting pot, and I think that was what made it really exciting. Yeah, and then I got into, got into making it, making some sort of music on my laptop, really. That, well, now it's all reversed. Now I'm playing to the, I suppose, to the guys at the back and the guys at the front, the girls at the front, whatever, anyone who's willing to listen. We now do a night here. It's small, it's dark. We've got a dim light by the DJ booth, and that's about it. So you can really lose yourself. You can be completely unselfconscious. It's the, the initial look on someone's face who's standing in front of the decks. I can just see immediately when, when I've done something that's good. I think some people come down sometimes thinking that I'm going to sing. And, well, I try and... Try not to confuse the two too much. I mean, DJing is its own thing. It's so far away from singing. It's a completely different creative thing. I'm not a kind of purist of any kind, but I like it when people are just mixing records together. I'm happy to be able to do all of it, I think. I think that's um, what makes life fun. I get to choose each thing I do at, at each different time and, and never really be constrained into any one thing. That's, that's fun for me.